Next tonight, travellers could be arrested for setting up sites on public land. An East Midlands MP is backing plans for the police to have powers to arrest travellers and move them on after just 24 hours. Heather Wheeler, the Conservative MP for South Derbyshire, told our reporter Helen Astle how travellers are affecting the area. Let me tell you the problem. Over here on Gresley Common, you can see the scorched earth. Up until yesterday, we didn't have travellers on there. They were there before, they've come back again. And over here, we had travellers before. The council had to spend a fortune clearing it up and now we've had to put boulders down at taxpayers' expense to stop travellers getting on. Heather Wheeler is backing new laws which could mean travellers are arrested for trespassing on public land like parks after just 24 hours. At the moment, it can take weeks to get an eviction order. When they're on the site for um, the best part of three weeks, it costs thousands to clear the sites up after that. If they're moved on after 24 hours, that'll be an absolute minimum price to the taxpayers. Rosanna Taylor and her family have lived around Church Gresley for 30 years. She says they have nowhere else to go. I'm getting too old for it now. I'm 50 years old. I don't want it anymore, love. You know, you can... You wake up one morning, then the police is here and the council, then you've got to go. You know, you're never in one place long enough. There have been 16 traveller sites set up illegally in South Derbyshire in the last few months and locals aren't happy. It's just the mess they leave behind and the cost, I think. If I went and pitched my tent up where the travellers are at the minute, the policeman would stand over me and tell me to move. I suppose if you want your land, you wouldn't want it. If they're not on my land, it don't matter a lot. <laughs> There's no way to go for toilets. Truthfully, honestly, I'm telling you the truth. You've got to go down and use the trees. There's no way like, to go for water. Like, there's no, nobody to come and collect the rubbish. You're going to make fires and burn it. So it's is hard. There's no way. I don't know. i just give up, tell you the truth. Just live by day by day. Over the next few months, Heather's going to be pushing for the legislation to become law. For Rosanna, she's pushing for a permanent site to call home. Helen Astle, East Midlands Today, Derbyshire.